Peace, guys and goddesses of Planet Kai. Peace means positive energy always creates elevation. Setting the right vibe to our frequency and good energy for today's mukbang because I'm super excited with what we got going on today. What about you, guys? Oh, I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm yeah. excited because a lot of this stuff I have never seen before. Okay, okay, okay. Cool. So, um, getting right into it. As y'all can see by the title, we are doing an exotic fruit mukbang. Real exotic fruit it is. Yes, it is. So if you like what you see here. Please look down at the bottom of the screen. Thumbs up. Subscribe. And comment. Thank you. Thank you. So today is going to be um, it's gonna be like a review. And it's going to be like informative. So we're going to be teaching today. So first things first, let me let y'all know what Take we got in school, our cups. Take them to school. Let them know we got in our cups. I'm sipping on a freshly made um, acai berry smoothie that my mama made for us. And it got a little holy water in it. Yeah. A little holy water. So we're going to take a squig of that. Mm. Mm. Wet the whistle. Mm -hmm. Wet the whistle. It's nutritious and delicious. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Get my notes ready because I done wrote down some stuff for y'all today. Yeah, because you 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 went and you went and got some things I have never seen before. What's up here you've never seen before, baby? This one. You know what it's called? Um, dragon fruit. Mm -hmm. And this one, I guess this is another form of dragon fruit. Yellow dragon fruit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This one right here, I don't even know what it is. That's papaya. Papaya. Mm -hmm. Okay, I know what this is. What is that? Coconut. coconut. That's the one I'm excited to try. Coconut. Okay, okay. You got the pineapples. Mm -hmm. What is this one right here? Those are the guayabas. 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 Okay. Also known as guava. Okay, and this one here. The little one sitting down here. Liche fruit. Liche. The liche. Okay. Carcaracha. Carcaracha. What else we got? What else we got? I, we got? I don't know what this is either. This is the pomelo grapefruit. Oh. Mm -hmm. Pomelo grapefruit, which is the original grapefruit. Because remember, we found out today that the grapefruit we've been known known to eat is a hybrid yeah, of, this of this and grapefruit. An orange or something, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Orange and this. Yeah. Okay. It's the hybrid that makes okay. um, grapefruit that we know. Um, we also got kiwi. I know what those are. We got kiwi, and we also have the Asian pear, right? Mm -hmm. And then last but not least, we got our plantains. Plantains, plantains, and I love these plantains. I always eat them fried, but today we're gonna eat them raw. And they, they just as delicious, okay? Mm -hmm. So first things first, let's get started with the, the most exciting thing up here, which is this. The coconut? The coconut. Put the lime, Put the in, the lime the coconut, in the coconut and, and twist it all up. Yeah. Oh, we got two. We got two. Um, we got two styles of mangoes up here. We have the regular mango, mm -hmm. right? And then we have the yellow mango, which is over here. Oh, so I right now, it was all the same. yeah. So my baby had already dug a hole in the watermelon. I mean, the coconut. <laughs> the coconut. <laughs> Let me see if I can shake it out here. Y'all hear that? That's exciting, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and pull you, pull some in this, in this glass. It's my first time ever doing this, y'all. I'm so excited. I always go in the grocery stores, and when I see the coconuts, I shake them up to my ear. So, boom, we have coconut. It's a... Uh, With coconut ash in it. Yeah, we got, got some ash in it, but let me smell it. Do it smell it don't smell like nothing. Let's see if you can smell it. Oh. No. Okay, well, let me taste it. Y'all know me. I'm going to try anything once. Searching. Mm, it's not giving the coconut flavor that I was looking for. Let me try it one time. Searching. She's searching. Okay. Yeah, you go ahead and try that. Okay. Let me know what you're thinking. What's it like? It's actually all right. Yeah, it's not bad. It's, it's just not. I'm used to that it's, real strong coconut flavor, like the smell. It's, it's kind of sweet. Yeah. 
It's like sweet tart, yeah. you know. That's all right. But yeah, and we supposed to um open this up too, so we can dig into the coconut meat. But we gonna we gonna get to that later. Mm. So first things first, let's go ahead and get started with the lychee fruit. Go ahead and grab your lychee fruit, baby. Lychee fruit is which one? Right here, these little beautiful the little things. Little beauty things. Yeah. So what do you do? You just bite them. Or? Yeah, you can bite into it and open it up, and it's gonna expose like a jelly type of texture with a big old nut inside of it. Do you eat the nut? What? No, you can plant it though. So, um, just a little fun fact: the lychee fruit is originated from China, India, Thailand, the Philippines, and more. It is rich in iron, copper, and magnesium. And some of the benefits it has for the body is that it protects against heart disease, mm -hmm. disease, heart disease. Um, it helps aid in diabetes, and it also is good for cataracts, and helps um, clear cancer. Okay. It helps prevent cancer. I'm gonna say that. One for you. Thank you. And one for me. All right. Let's just bite right into it. Right into it. Mm -hmm. mm. mm. Oh, the juice. <laughs> the juice just squirted all in your mouth. I'm like a big grape. Big grape. Okay. So. This how it look, y'all, when we open it up. Right. Mm. It's like jelly looking. Oh. Mm. Mm. It does give a great texture. And it's sweet. It don't taste like a grape, though. Mm. That's the nut that's inside of it. I don't know what it tastes like, but it don't taste bad. It don't. It's good, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Don't Yay for the lychee. Okay. okay, next. We're going for the guayabas. Guayabas. Let me guayabas. See I'm, 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 all right. You remember what it was? Yep. The guayabas. Yep, this beautiful yellow fruit. Got seeds on the inside. I've never eaten a guayaba. Neither have I, so this is the first for both of us. Okay. So do we bite it? Or? Yeah, just bite into it. I didn't get us any spoons, so. We're gonna kind of like we going head in. So we don't eat the outside. Skin is always beneficial, but I'm biting on the inside. So let's see. Yeah, let's see. Oh. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> Come on, chew it. Mm. I like that texture. It's like a creamy. A creamy texture. The seeds in it is kind of hard, but not too bad. Let me bite, bite the skin. Ooh, the skin almost on. What the skin does like? It's giving like pine. 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 Yeah. Guayaba. Guayabas. Guayabas. Mm. Gotta keep saying it. Guayabas. I like that texture. It's like a a soft pear texture. If you ever ate a pear. It's like a creamy pear. With these hard season. <laughs> and it's good. It's alright. It's a little tart. Slightly tart. But I like it. That's cool. Man. So with the guayabas, they originate from Mexico and Central America. Mm -hmm. The Caribbeans and North Northern South America. They are rich in vitamin C. Um, potassium and fiber, you know, fiber helps clean you out. And its benefits are um, it boosts its heart health. It relieves menstruation pains for the ladies out there. It also aids in weight loss and it boosts your immunity, you know. Gets you up and going, make you feel stronger. Okay, there's two of the fruits that I've never eaten that I have mm -hmm. works with the heart. And mm -hmm. so that's a, lot of, a lot of these out. fruits on here are going to work with the heart. If y'all like what y'all hear, thumbs up, subscribe. Mm -hmm. Have y'all ever tried guayabas? Guayabas. All right, next, baby, we're going with the mango. The mango, which one? The two regular different ones. one. Okay, well. The regular one that you. One for you. I ain't cut mine up. Me. You got the pretty side. <laughs> and you've had this before, right? No. You've never had mango? No. I 
I see Sebastian be killing them. Sebastian eat them almost every day. You've never had a mango bag? No, mango I juice. I can't believe that, y'all. We buy mangoes. I buy mangoes all the time in this house. This man never had a mango. No, but That's because the Oreos be next to the mangoes. You go for the Oreos. No. <laughs> you eat the Oreos. You be like, I don't know what that is. I'm going to eat what I know. No. All right, we'll go right in. Let me know what you think. Like it? It's like a, a sweet <laughs> kind of. I'm, I'm gonna set that right there because Sebastian wants some, so I'm gonna bite on yours. Which one you want? Right hand, right hand in the middle. Okay. Right hand in the middle. Mm. Mm. I know what they do. I love mango. Okay. You want my favorite fruit? Mm. That mango originates from Bangladesh <laughs> in Northeast India. Okay. It's rich in vitamin C, N, A, and folate. So for all the pregnant ladies out there who um, want to have a substitute to taking those pills that's supposed to be known to build your child's brain, here you go right here. They say take the pills, but we say eat the fruit. Eat the mango. Mm-hmm. It's good to y'all. It's real good. It's soft. Delicious. The mango also helps with colon cancer. It helps um, aid in heart dis-ease. Very hard thing. And um, it controls your weight. So and if you're trying to watch your figure, eat you some mangoes. Mangoes. All right. That was good, right? Mm -hmm. Next, we're going to go for the the manila mango. This mm -hmm. is the yellow one, y'all. The manila mango. Baby? Slightly nice. different in the mm -hmm. texture. It kind of got like a little, yeah, it's a little more tartar. A little more tartar. It got like a like a powdery type of feel mm -hmm. in the texture a little bit. It's good. But though. it's still good, yeah. Don't forget the good though. It's still good. I can't deny it. Mm -hmm. And with the manila mango, same mm -hmm. thing. From it's the giving up. Go ahead. It's giving up. I have to taste like, like okay. bite one more time. See when you when you first bite, it give you that aftertaste like a. It's different from the other mango. Slightly. The texture for sure. Mhm. Mm the flavor, slightly. Mhm. Mm okay. It's good though. How does it smell? Do it smell good? Cause remember when we went um, when we went candle making the other day, I put mango in my candle. Smell good, good too. Mhm. Mm all right, so with the manila mango, that origin that that originates from the Philippines. It's also high in vitamin C and A and folate, mm -hmm. plus copper. Copper is good for the blood, y'all. Yes, yeah. We need that copper for our blood now, make our blood stronger. It is is strong. I mean, it's um heavy in absorbing iron and promotes cell growth and repair. That's so yeah, up. you need those benefits. Grab your manila mango. Next, dragon fruit. Ooh. Which one? Mm. The pink one. This beautiful, beautiful, bright pink one right here. How do we do it? Like we got dragon fruit. So I usually, when I cut it in half like this, I take a spoon and I scoop it out. But we ain't got no spoon. We are gonna dig right in there like this. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Like a bowl, like a dragon fruit bowl. Go hold it for me. What you think? Mm. Can't no? get jiggy with that one. No? What's wrong with it? I don't have a taste to it. That's what makes it good. Not really. <laughs> you got the season now. So that promotes healthy gut. And this dragon fruit lives in Peru. It has spread to Mexico and East Asia. And it's also indigenous to the Americas. I love it. I love it. It helps lower cholesterol, like I said earlier. Mm -hmm. Aids in healthy gut. And it has potassium, iron, and vitamin C. I'm going to take one more bite. I'm going to let y'all know. I was what? always told that when you catch an illness or something like that, it results to fruits and vegetables and not 
the Western medications. Yeah. 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 Because we all know that they're not healing you. They're just, at all. They're making you worse. They're just, just putting a band aid on the problem. They put you on one so that it could cause another problem with the with something else. Yeah, it's like a like a domino effect. Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. But Can I pick this time? Go ahead. I'm just trying to go down my list. One of my favorites. Okay, what's your favorite? Which one is that? The pineapple. The pineapple. I got a pear and I I got a pineapple. Let me help you out. Let me help you out. Hold on, I got you. You got me. Okay. Mm. One delicious piece of pineapple for you. Mm -hmm. And one delicious piece of pineapple for me. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. So, with the pineapple, Mm -hmm. its home is in the Brazilian rainforest. Of course, it has spread since then, but it originated in the Brazilian rainforest. Mm-hmm. It's rich in manganese, and it helps ease its arthritis, dis-ease, fighting antioxidants, reduces cancer, and you can also use the peel, the skin of the pineapple as a tea so you boil it and you get the benefits from the skin i mean from the yeah from the pineapple skin it goes into your tea you know you just hook up your tea like you normally would you add your um you add cinnamon you can add your honey you can add your lemon and boom now you got your pineapple tea homemade right that's cool right mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. let's see one other thing about the pineapples mm. y'all know what it is oh <laughs> <laughs> y'all know what it is you know you know mm. Mm. And this one nice and sweet. I'm gonna eat a lot of them. So how we pick our pineapple, I look for the ones that's like a orange is yellow, cause that's the most the most ripest, and I smell them. Yeah. You can smell it on the outside. It smells so good. If it smells so good, you put it in the bag. We was in that sniffing too. Mm-hmm. They probably looking at us crazy. We got the whole pineapple like this. We have pineapple in there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and of course, we know pineapple smell good. Tastes pick, good too. You wanna pick again? Pick again. Mm-hmm. Alright, let's do the Chinese pear. Okay. I got a pear. I got the pineapple. This is Chinese. Ugh, pineapple pear. What that's what it is? No, nah, that's a song me and Sebastian oh, you do it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Alright, cool. Ladies first. Ladies first, let's go. So this is um an Asian pear. And of course it originates from Asia. So I'm just gonna go ahead and bite right into it. Sound like an apple. Mm. Mm-hmm. It's crispy like an apple too. It's sweet. It's like a pair of the apple headed baby. Mm-hmm. It's good. Why the face? <laughs> Why the face? Yeah, you make the face like you don't like it. I was searching for the taste. What it tastes like? It tastes like um a light apple. Like it's juicy. Okay, yeah. So this a, this Asian pear originates from East Asia, yeah. Nepal, and Australia. It's high in fiber, vitamin C, and K, and potassium. And it helps to regulate your cholesterol and maintain the level of good bacteria in the gut. Good bacteria. Mm. Mm. Y'all hear that? It's real juicy, though. Mm-hmm. Okay, next. One of my favorites. What's my favorite fruit up there? Um, I would say the that pomegranate. The pomegranate. Yes, yeah. sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I love pomegranate, y'all. Look how red and beautiful that is. I was. I love it. I was coming in the house, and all I heard was pack, 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 pack. I thought somebody was getting a whoop. <laughs> I come in the kitchen. She beating on one of them. All the little things falling out. Yeah. But so I have a, it's a method to the madness. I'm going to show y'all one day how I um, peel my and de-shell my, de, um, DC my pomegranate. But I just pretty much cut off the tip. If you can follow along, I cut off the tip of it. And then it exposes the, like the veins of it, like this part. It exposes this part and I just go around my knife and I slice it around at the lines and it opens up like a flower. I put it in my hand like this, 
over a bowl and I take a wooden spoon and I just bang it pop, 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 all the way around and you'll know that the seeds are coming out because the, the, the skin will start to get like really flimsy and soft but that's the easiest way to do it that's the easiest way to do it so but yeah it it's super good I just bite into the seeds I eat the seeds for like um, my cereal you eat these? let me try it <laughs> girl you got your tongue got like you like you know what to do already come on it's messy mm. it's messy mm. it's a little tart but this fruit is good for the blood the pomegranate it's like cranberry sauce tart. Mm. The pomegranate cranberry sauce tart? Yeah. yeah. I didn't write down where it originated from, but I will put it on the screen below here. All What's right. next? Let's do something real exotic. Real exotic? Yeah, oh. You know what time it is. Okay, okay. Wanna do this one? The yellow uh, grapefruit? The yellow um, dragon, dragon fruit. fruit. Look at you. On your toes. Let's do it. Okay. The yellow dragon fruit. The yellow dragon fruit. Show them how it look. Oh yeah. It looks just like the, the red pink. One. The pink one. It's just it's a little more like lemon shaped. It's yellow and the seeds are bigger. So I get to go first or you want of to go course, first? Of course, go first. You got the honors. I think this one is better than the red one. Think so? It got more flavor. Way more flavor. This is my first time trying yellow dragon fruit, y'all. Me too. Say. But I think that one is better than the real one. Mmm. Mmm. Nice and sweet. Very sweet. Let me go again. Mmm. I like that. Mm -hmm. I like that a lot. That is delicioso. Mm. All right. Next. Which one I've been scared of? Plantains. <laughs> Plantains originating from Southeast Asia and Africa. Welcome to Africa. In the islands of, of the Pacific as well. It's high in uh, vitamin BC, which helps cardiovascular risk and improves your mood. So go ahead. One for me and one for you. What do I have now? Nope. You a champ. You can take it. I think I can. I think you can I take can. it. You ready? Cheers. Mm. I like it. I already know what to do. I eat plantains all the time. I didn't. I, I have them fried though, but I've had them raw one time before. That was real right. It's good. It's like a banana. Yeah, banana. Just a big old banana, right? Mm -hmm. Next. Can't mm, forget about that. Kiwi? No, this. I'm saying kiwi. Ooh. The hairy substance. <laughs> kiwi, y'all. Now, what the kiwi is good for? The kiwi, it originates from China. Mm -hmm. It's um, high in vitamin C and fiber, which helps, you know, move them bowels. And it supports heart health, digestive health, and immunity. A lot of this stuff supports your heart. Mm -hmm. It's important always to keep your heart going because the heart... It's what keeps the blood flowing and mm -hmm. it keeps everything operating the way it needs to operate. So, take care of your hearts. Mm -hmm. And always. My turn. Go ahead. Mm. I've had kiwi before. That's good, though. It's not as tart as I thought it was going to be. Cool. Let's go here. Mm. We need the knife for that, huh? Do we? Mm. Or you want to do this one next? We could do this one, then this one. Okay, cool. So, you guys, as you can see here, this is the papaya. It's beautiful black and orange and fluorescent to, red and just beautiful, right? Let me smell it. I used to love papaya juice. It ain't got no smell. I'm not a fan of papaya juice. I used to love it. I'm really not a fan of papaya. Hopefully, this one changed my mind. So, what do you bite it at? I'm just going to bite it right here around the edge. Right here. I'm gonna still say I don't like papaya. You don't like that. I look for I look for the I look for the taste to change every time, mm. but it has this. Oh no! It has this this pungent. Mm. 
aftertaste that I just can't get with. If you a fan of that taste, then Ugh. be my guest. But I'm not. <laughs> but what is the healthy benefits for of papaya? So with papaya, it's from South Mexico and mm-hmm. Central America. It has high levels of vitamin A, C, and E, okay. and it reduces the risk of heart disease and it fights inflammation. Okay. That's what it does. One more. Last but not least, the pomelo yes. grapefruit. The pomelo Last grapefruit. Last but not least. I know I'm like this. I've had this before. Yeah. Yep. The pomelo grapefruit is originated in southern China. It's high in fiber and vitamin C. It helps promote strong gums and teeth. Anti-aging, flu, and common colds, and it heals wounds. Well, so you can take it and rub it on your wounds, or you yeah, can eat it. I w- you can eat it and take the skin, and I would say rub it on your wounds. Not right, an open so. wound, though, because it is a citrus fruit. So, but citrus is good for just, your skin, period. So oranges, lemons. Just bite in it. Yeah, just bite in it. Big old bite. Got a good one? Tastes real good. Mm. Mm. Very. The, it's good. The flesh is very, very thick. Let me try to. It's not. Let me try to break that joint down. So. It's not as strong as a. Um, grapefruit. Grapefruit. You know, like you can't. I know I can't bite into a grapefruit like that. Mm. But it's actually, it's actually I good. I have to in there. Yeah, it's actually sweet and good. Mm-hmm. It's real good. So yeah. Out of all of these, what was your favorite, babe? My favorite, I would like to say the pineapple. The pineapple. <laughs> <laughs> but I actually I enjoyed the coconut water. It was pretty decent. What was the um, yeah, I was about to say what's what was new that you enjoyed? The the the, the yellow um The yellow mango? Okay. No, this one. The yellow dragon fruit. The yellow dragon fruit, I meant to say. Yeah, okay. that was that was delicious. Like okay. it got a sweet text I mean a sweet taste. Nice texture is pretty good. Okay, cool. Um, that's my, it for me. Okay, my favorite fruit up here was the pineapple as well. It was very sweet and juicy. I also love the mango and the pomegranate. Out of the new ones that I've tried, I will have to say I didn't get a chance to eat the meat out of here, but I like the juice that came out of it. But out of what I did eat, I'm gonna say the Manila. No, 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 no. But the uh, pear, the Asian pear. Cause I've had Manila, yeah, the Asian pear, and my least favorite, of course, was the papaya. I can't, I, I cannot. Me too. I'm sorry, ain't ain't like that. Mm-mm. Ain't like that. <laughs> but yeah, thank y'all for tuning in. Let us know what you think in the comments below. Please. Which one of these exotic fruit have you tried? And let us know your least favorite. <laughs> and what make mukbang y'all think we should do next? Yep. But until then. Peace. We love you.